started going. I'm probably still too late, but eh, we'll see. Probably because I don't see my birthday for spring 16th. That messes me up when I don't get my own birthday. Oh, that means my birthday's coming, huh? I'm getting old. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll do, we'll try to get through this run. And then, like, I almost want to do a second run today. But I might just wait and do tomorrow as well. I don't know. I do need to clean my house more. Okay. Um... Uh, it's not like I feel threatened or anything. This line is driving me crazy. Not like I feel threatened or anything, but I am like in the mood to grind goddess percent. Like, because I have a habit of in like the beginning of the run or whatever, even if it's a little scuffed or I get a really bad mine or whatever, I just play through because I know that whatever rerouting I've done is, uh, is going to save time. So I don't really care whether my... Um, opening I guess you can say is suboptimal but I'm kind of I don't know I've been kind of in the mood to just I, I don't have like <laughs> a, a bunch of resets to try to get an ideal opening and then go from there I don't know that's probably more of a a longer stream kind of thing so maybe that can wait till tomorrow morning but or as this is not morning but tomorrow I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. We'll see how I'm feeling after this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's because, I mean, Thomas can screw you over. Storms can screw you over. The game could freeze at any point, so. But, like, I never really focus on let's get a really clean intro because I just, I don't know, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. But we're going to get to the point probably really soon where little things like that are going to start to be pretty significant. So, you know, it's like oh, if it takes you three or four tries to get weather and then three tries to get the first quick purchase glitch, it's like you should just reset because that's sure exactly. We just got to find a few more glitches and then it won't matter. Try grinding a percent that teaches you important to clean intro. Yeah, I don't mean like intro intro. I just, I mean like opening, like up to the earth pretty much the first like 45 minutes. <laughs> but I know, I know what you mean. But the, uh, and a lot of it you really can't control. Like the mining sections, you don't have any influence over whether that goes well or not. You just have to hope. Um, but we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I made like one change because I didn't feel like I still feel like we're gonna end up over gifting, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And that's good, exactly. What tasks are you doing? The goddess percent one? Or rescue harvest goddess, I guess. I'm the only one that calls it, calls it goddess percent. Everybody else. RHG or whatever. Yeah, this light is so bothering me. Goddess percent. That's cool. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like so much work. Goddess percent. Well, I don't call this like Celia percent, I just call it, it's marriage percent for Celia. So harvest goddess with, or goddess percent with, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. 
rescuing the or marrying the harvest goddess rather would still be a marriage percent. Yeah, I guess you call it rich percent. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's all. <laughs> doesn't really matter what we call anything. <laughs> Still, uh, okay, we're going to hope for good weather here. Okay. I am still going to gift her on her birthday, I don't know. It, this probably all decays away, so it doesn't matter, but I still like doing it. Just to be nice. Whoop, if I can <laughs> use my fingers. Probably should practice a little bit, because I haven't played in like a week, but... That is true, Frog. We do adopt your names <laughs> a lot of the time. A birthday present. Demo doesn't even like this game, so I don't think Demo's opinion matters. up for failure right now and I'm trying to get 35 fish per day, per day with five sprites and rain every day oh yeah that's a lot of manipulating of RNG yeah that's what I'm saying <laughs> Should have just put it up. Sounds like I'm sitting up for grinding more than failure. That's true. And I'm gonna remember to get the water sprites today. Five percent chance. Yeah, <laughs> that's rough. This is well. It will hopefully be the first completed Celia run. I started one. I don't even remember what day that was. Last Sunday, and I did not finish because of that freeze. And this route is a little weird. I don't really like it yet. But I want to get something on the board for her. And then we'll work on improving from there. I really wasn't, uh, what about cruel? Yeah, well, you know what, cruel, you stay away for so long, you're going to lose all your records. Not my fault. <laughs> that's the plan, is to take all his records. Uh, that's why I'm gonna do Celia, and then I gotta do Lumina, even though I don't like Lumina. I don't like her as a marriage candidate anyway. And if Kuro wants it done, he can come in back and take it back. He can stop playing Pokemon. <laughs> Which I don't think he wants to do. Yeah, that's what it is. He did show up during the marathon for a little bit to say hey. That was cool. But he looks like he's busy with other stuff, which is fine.
you will probably uh, be quite surprised by <laughs> the changes that have happened. Okay. There are so many Pokemon categories though. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. If this was God's percent, I would just reset. <laughs> no first try, not worth it. Okay. But I mean, I feel like our categories are, I don't know what, I don't know what the word is, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, I don't know, doesn't Pokemon have like a million categories where it's like, you know, a completed run without um, using potions or without Poke Centers, and those are like two separate runs, right? And then it's like only using an Eevee and only using some other random Pokemon that I couldn't name. I don't know. I don't know anything about Pokemon. But it seems like they got a whole lot of subcategories. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, I feel like you could find a category of Pokemon that you could meddle in. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I feel like there is. Option and that's like, okay, well, I, I don't even know. I guess I should just shut up, but I feel like those are legit runs that people do. Whether they're actually like leaderboards on speedrun.com, I don't know. <sighs> Are you gonna continue your uh, Nuzlocke Frog? I watched a little bit of it before I, or I fell asleep watching it or something the other day. I'm jealous you got a Flaffy for your starter though, because I like I like Flaffies. I like Ampharos. Or whatever, however the hell you pronounce those names. Okie dokie. Now we're refilling more. Alright, that's good. Because the longer you're just, uh... Oh, it died. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't get that far. What am I watching? That sucks. The rival. <laughs> that sounds early. I could get to this. I, yeah, that happens to me sometimes. I'm like, I've never even watched this person. How did I get a gifted sub? Comes Muffy. Curious Chiru. Hmm. Never heard of them. Okay. Did I decide what I was gifting her? I guess I'll still do relaxed tea leaves. Um, just so I can keep track of how many gifts I give. Uh, 
Oh, but what I was saying is, uh, I'm glad Frog is going to continue his Nuzlocke, because the longer he spends playing Pokemon, the longer I get to keep my record. <laughs> the side thing while I prepare for which percent anyways that's fair what are you doing to prepare though <laughs> mr. I don't like rowdy <laughs> or is it just a mental preparation thing is that why you did channel percent last weekend yeah because I I was already over an hour in and I didn't feel like starting over so I just went for the shorter run I didn't get too soon. <laughs> Safety save again. Can I get a first try? Uh, it's already too late. I cannot hit these first try today. <laughs> well, I had been meaning to rerun Channel Percent. I just hadn't got around to it, and I took the opportunity. Okay. Yeah, this has not been a very clean run uh, so far, but it's fine. to make something bigger out of it. You'll see, I need to get back to you about that anyways. Okay. You mean the Attack on Titan thing or the run itself? <laughs> Is she? itself will be accompanied by something. At least that's the plan. Because God knows I won't be sitting there showing cat for 11 hours without making it entertaining. That's, that's a fair point. I was buying for a second. Um, did I decide to not buy my thousand items today? I think I did. I'll have to remember to do that on another day. Looks like. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm gonna gift more. I'll just do it. Whatever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, 
Let's see. It doesn't matter. I'll do that later. Oops. Oh my gosh, my fingers. Hello. Can you work? <laughs> oh my god. I want to do it someday too. I gotta go for the all categories sweep at some point, right? So it will have to be done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pond. Which percent is your starting small? That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> okay. I didn't find my cabbage. I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. This should be fine though. I just um, forgot the uh, cabbage. And whoops, fishing rod. Okay. Um, let's go mining, I suppose. Hope for a decent mine. I don't know why I wrote down to get three to four maestro. Don't I only need two? Yeah, I'll do two or three. We'll see. And I should remember to split because I never do. I'll drink one of those. Ooh, hello. There we go. Okay. Thank you. The first level was a little rough, but it's it's not too bad since then. We got a long ways to go. Though. I have to go check this spot because it's probably there. It's not there. This level is a little sucky. Okay, not too bad. Oh my gosh, can I stop getting black grass? I have enough. All right. It has no better chance to be close to the stairs. Yeah, exaggerate. I appreciate you trying to inject your logic and facts into my uh, gut feeling and instinct. But I know, I know it doesn't make sense, but I have to do it. 
Whoopsie. Here's our horse, Pool. I feel like it's always close to the other stairs. <laughs> Not eating the six black eyed pepper. I guess I could uh, chug those, but uh, I feel like I get more. Um, I don't like having the little animation things, that's why I don't eat them. But that's a good point. I can eat those at any time. Did I actually water that? I didn't even look. When you're done. Yeah, I can definitely do that when I have a moment of free time. What's your estimate time? Um, I don't know. Hoping around three hours. Purple heart. <clears throat> That's the goal anyway. Oh, sorry. There was doing a thing. It should end up below three hours. But we'll see. Honestly, I'm thinking I should probably uh, put cheap hell into marriage runs, but I just don't do it. Sub two, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My throat is so dry. She, um, I don't know, I feel like her affection goes up pretty fast, but we got a lot of other stuff to do. Rain again is nice. Should be a I would think it would be around what Muffy's time is, so like 2.40ish. She's the one who gets affection from shipping, right? Yeah, she does. So she's already gotten part of the boost um, because I shipped a thousand items to get Fra and the horse already. Which I feel like the better play is to wait until later, so I don't have to worry about that affection I'm getting decaying away while we're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, her and Muffy both, like, you don't even introduce yourself and, oops, I forgot to water, and she's already at Purple Heart. Forgot to water, so I'll waste a little bit of time doing that. It's the same with like, um, oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to go out today. Oh well. Because I changed my route without uh, thinking about it, but we can give today. I'll just have to uh, sleep tomorrow because of the festival.
Did I water? I don't even know. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, 19th, so that's our fishing day. Fishing is so annoying. <laughs> this game. Okay. Ever thought of putting the crop to water somewhere where you uh, teleport automatically? Like way up top? You could do that. Um, yeah, that's all I'm doing today. I've thought about it, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's so uh, worth it. Okay, the water ink is fine. We might need one more day because I think I missed a day to water. Oh, never mind. Should be done now. So much rain. Hopefully this bad weather. Oh my god, so much rain. Uh, bad weather keeps up. <laughs> I would get more bad weather later on. Okay. Hi, horse. Either way, you have to run to the house and water. Well, yeah, I think he's saying you would teleport out and... Oh, I'm not gonna... Uh, sorry, it's grass eating time, so I gotta focus. Oh, I should eat my my black grasses. The bad thing about rain is it drops so many weeds that you don't get nearly as much grass, I feel. Whoops. Oh my gosh, please. Fingers. Yeah, that's what I was starting to say. <laughs> I want to see what great eating sounds. It is definitely an interesting sound. Yeah, Celia, like, uh, she talks about it in her, in her purple heart event, I think, and in her blue heart event, that she moved here because she was, uh, just a really sick kid, and this air here in Forget-Me-Not Valley is supposed to be good for her condition, so I don't know, she's got, like, TB or something. <laughs> I don't think that that's in A Wonderful Life. I don't think she, well, maybe she does say something like that. I don't know. Oh shit, it's already like way past time for me to be doing stuff. I wasn't even watching the time. <laughs> 
Mumsy. Yellow one. And it's it's interesting the other characters like uh, relationship with the harvest goddess because like in her purple heart event she asks us like if we believe that the harvest goddess is real and and you know she kind of implies that she feels silly for believing in the harvest goddess or other people have made her feel silly for believing and it's like i i see that girl all the time <laughs> so it's weird uh, the same with like the sprites too it's like can other people see the harvest sprites like we can some people seem to like thomas but um yeah well i think it's the same as like in a wonderful life right it's it's just like the a teeny tiny little door in the tree and i don't know other people don't seem to acknowledge them. Yeah, who'd they open this casino for? Um, I wasted so much time today. Um, where am I building? I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> the whole thing of why Thomas to see them and nobody else does. Yeah, that's kind of weird. And it's weird how this game never really states whether people know and see the goddess and sprites and stuff. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't think that they do. Oh, shoot. You know what I was supposed to do? I was supposed to do the heart event because it was raining. Whoopsie! That sucks. I was supposed to do our black heart event. <laughs> Hopefully we get uh, more rain uh, later on. I think we're just sleeping. And what about the wind princess? Do they know she's trying in Romana's cry? Yeah, that's that's strange too. Around, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. Um, what was I gonna say? Well, okay, so like in the Japanese version, right, you have the the mailbox and you get mail. And f again, this is just like Google Translate because I don't read Japanese, but um, you get like a letter after you see the witch's black heart event to say that, um, um, that she lives there essentially. I don't know what the exact uh, wording is, but I don't. You get a piece of mail that tells you about uh, the witch princess and her house. I should have teleported home. Didn't. Gifting or just watering. Yeah, I don't know. A game theory about Harvest Moon would be interesting, I guess. <laughs> don't know where they would go with that. Can I get some storms? That would be fun if that were to happen. <laughs> Everything he says is can't- yeah, okay. <laughs> he's never wrong, never reaches, nothing. <laughs> I think he's admitted himself that he has to reach sometimes. <laughs> I 
I just watched the the Five Nights at Freddy's videos for some reason. <laughs> Those ones are interesting to me. And I pretty much ignore all the other content. I'm not criticizing. <laughs> this is for the DS. It honestly looks like Friends of Town. Yeah, it's aesthetic wise very similar to Friends of Mineral Town. It came out, this is like the follow-up game to uh, to Friends of Mineral Town. I think it's it's that game but better, like with a lot more to do. Okay, so now I need my axe and I need to just go ham on some lumber. Sorry, I gotta focus a lot on this part too. I wish this didn't cost so much fatigue, but it does. Let's drink. Oh, I can't read while I'm doing this. Can we make it to Bran before we run out of sticks on the screen? Yeah, that's my new strategy, etc. <laughs> to move while uh, that's all happening. This is inefficient, but I think I just need a few more, hopefully. I don't know. Okay, good. You just move the map and your axe magically. No, I'm using the necklace. The necklace lets you use any of your tools uh, anywhere on the map. Okay. So now we're listening to Exadrid. I know it's not spring because I didn't have time to do that. But we're gonna hire for seven days early on. See how this works out. Now we're gonna build this stone shed. Oh yeah, yeah, this stupid ah, this glitch. See, we'll see how that works out. I, I don't know. I should be doing this stuff on another day too, but it's fine. Why? What's wrong with God? many things there bothering me. 
Yeah. Whoops, that's not a watering can. Whoop. At least I got a free save, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> I think you can get out of that black screen thing by like clicking on the phone, but you, you're you like doing it blind, so it's hard. Uh, I don't remember what he looked like in Friends of Mineral Town. <laughs> so I have to go out and finish that stone chip so the lumber sprites I hired can get some stone. Crazy myth. You can hire them with just the lumber shed build, but they won't collect uh, stone. Yeah, his mouth is a little bit extra. That is true. Whoopsie. Okay, so this was the questionable day where I just actually attend the festival. And, um,. My plan is to eat grasses, apparently. I hate how far I have to scroll over for this one. We should be pretty ahead with grasses because I wasn't paying attention to the clock the last time I went out eating grass. Will I ever play Sunshine Island? Um, what? I've thought about it. After, after I feel like I'm doing everything I want to do in this game, I would like to look at the other DS games. Probably Grand Bazaar first. Um, but then, yeah, Sunshine Island would definitely be something I would look at. I don't know what it looks like in terms of runs. I don't know whether anybody runs that game or not, but I would definitely be interested in running other DS games. I have the I have the equipment for it, so I might as well. Well, I can tell you a bit on Sunshine Islands. Are you a part of our Discord? Because then that would definitely be uh, where we could talk about that kind of thing. I don't have a link to the Discord right now. I think it's on my homepage or whatever, though. Um, my notes say I'm supposed to get Kodo today, but I don't... I don't see how I decided that that can happen. But I'm just going to follow the notes. Uh... Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I, own ten co I don't own 10 copies of each game. I have... Five copies of this game, and DS Cube, and both of the games in Japanese. But that's all. I kind of speedrun Mary and the Witch Princess on my second run glitch list. I don't speedrun games, that just kind of happened. Well, anything, any knowledge you have about the game in general is valuable, though. Because that's, uh, like, I don't know anything about the game. So I could say, yeah, I'm going to speedrun it, but it would not go well because I don't know anything about the game. Yeah, and you don't have to be a runner, he's right, to uh, join our Discord. You definitely should.
Does somebody have a... What is this link? <laughs> oh, it says YouTube. <laughs> Is my pineapple done? I don't know. It is. I'm gonna pick it up. And I don't know. I think. Should I gift some more? I feel like I'm gonna over gift. It's a holiday. Never mind. I don't know why it's a weird <laughs> YouTube link. It's what's on the speedrun.com Discord link. Oh, okay. <laughs> As long as it all goes to the same place. Did I pick up a pineapple? I think I did. I did not get any storms. Yeah, but on my like uh, channel page or whatever you want to call it, I have a link to the Discord as well. And, uh, oh, there you go. And to my YouTube as well. Oops, missed. Um, let's ship this, I guess. So I don't forget. There aren't a lot of records on speedrun.com. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, the DS games, I think there is quite a bit of, uh, I don't know what you call it, like barriers to entry, people who want to run these games. Because, I mean, you could do a emulator, but who it, who is it that runs, though? I feel like I know it, but I don't. I can't think of it. Oh, this is what we get for um, not passing out at the festival. We have too much money in Android. Okay. I, I knew who <laughs> I couldn't think of it. I think the, all the, the DS games in general are just not very popular. Compared to like Friends of Mineral Town and stuff like that. I don't think the 3DS games were very popular either, but. The All Sons percent is 11 hours, yeah. <laughs> That sounds about right. Rosemary Diaz says it's, it, it's definitely gotten a lot more uh, popular in the last couple of years. Because nobody was <laughs> really running it consistently before I, I joined. It's been good to see. And like I, d I knew that this game had <laughs> potential. I knew that there was more that we hadn't discovered yet as well. I think after the split house Moon just went. Well, yeah, but these are these are marvelous games still. It is not raining, so no hard event today. I really, I should have done the hardy, the black hardy van already. I messed up uh, with that. Hopefully it's not a problem, but we'll see. Um, it says to level the watering can. I don't know how close or far we are though. Celia is cute, she's super cute. Nami over Celia, what? You crazy. I just got sauce bomb too. That's good. It is a really good remake. 
I didn't play it all that much. I don't know why. I just I haven't played my Switch very much in general. It's I've been caught up playing this, I guess. <laughs> okay, Quark, whatever. Celia is the only valid choice. She's the only girl that makes sense whoops, for a farmer to marry. Nobody can change my mind on this, okay? It's just the truth. Okay, now we're switching to Sickle. Nami is the redhead girl, yeah. Opposites attract. It's about compatibility, though. You think Nami's gonna be happy forever? A drifter like she is? Staying on a farm her whole life? No. Doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh. Her and her rival make much more sense together to me. Gustafa, or wherever you say his name. Because they could go and travel the world, just be like nomads or whatever. It would be selfish of us to marry her and keep her away from her true destiny. We'd be holding her back, you know? And if you really love somebody, you gotta let them go live their dream, you know? This farm is not her dream. I don't need any of this stuff. I'm building my first bird shed. Except when they don't want to go, I guess. But you can think for a moment that this is what you want. But what if she changes her mind? We're just gonna... We're gonna tell her she can't. She's our wife. She needs to stand in our living room her whole life. We're still gifting views. Wait. This is what we're gifting her. Really wish she had a better gift. She'd be a lot faster like that, but. There's been so much rain. Stuff. Of course, it's not going to rain on a day where I would like it to rain. I don't think um, that Sunshine Islands or whatever has um, its own channel yet because there's just not enough people who are interested in it. So I think it's under the HM Others channel right now. But if if I was going to have questions about the game, that's definitely where I would ask. It says level sickle, 11 a.m.
Let me put this on. Oh, it does have one? Uh, they did make some uh, other DS channels lately. That wasn't that long ago. And I think, I don't know, the hope when they made those channels, from what I understand, was that uh, DS people, as in us, would uh, go over there and, and do runs on those other games. Or research. Which maybe we can do that someday, but I think we still have a lot of work to do uh, with this game. Discord is also nice because we have a channel that'll like notify you of uh, live streams of all the different games too and and we'll talk about community events and stuff there as well so it's nice. If you're a fan of the series. The thing about Sunshine Islands is that there is a route. Sorry, focusing. To get a big amount of sunstones in the first few weeks. It's interesting. I don't know. I think I have seen part of the run, but I don't know exactly what. Uh, what they do, what uh, Android does. Wait, oh my gosh, can my fingers work today? And, and yeah, that's another thing too, is you don't have to just keep uh, hoping and waiting that somebody else runs it, you can do it yourself. It's, it's not as intimidating as you would think. There are probably other categories, and if you think of another category you would rather run that doesn't have to do with the story, then you can. we can talk to mods about adding that stuff too. Yeah. yeah, the story. I get, this is technically the story, is it not? This marrying the marrying uh, Lana or the witch princess would be hella easy though. Then do it. <laughs> if you do a run, we'll add the category. I need a mushroom. Hello, there's one. Oop. I didn't have a capture card when I started either. I just played on an emulator because I also didn't have a DS at the time. And then once I knew I was kind of like serious about it, I guess you could say, that's when I invested the time and money into uh, getting a system and a, and a capture setup.
And we have a lot of runners that still play on emulator. It's pretty much just <laughs> me, Demo, and Desert are the only ones with capture cards, I think. have a real uh, desktop even. I'm on a laptop. This is an HP notebook actually. <laughs> Definitely not a, a high-end PC. It's a PS4 and a phone. <laughs> is pretty crappy too. I'll upgrade eventually, but <laughs> just haven't wanted to spend the money yet. And it's just, I don't know what it is about my internet or whatever, but oh, like I can't watch Twitch over Wi-Fi because it just doesn't, it just buffers constantly. <laughs> I have to watch on mobile data. And I kind of crappy service in this area of town anyway. <laughs> Will it rain? Okay, good. We're gonna do the hard event today. Do not let me forget. Any day now, fish. Oh my gosh. All right, please. Thank you. <sighs> Fishing indoors? Yeah. That's a little strange, but you can do that with a necklace too. Um, so we're finishing up the sickle. Probably should have paid some attention to uh, how far along it is. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I guess that almost works. <laughs> um, let's go over here. So we don't forget. I think it's after 10. Sorry, that's the um, in the way. Fishing indoors is um, helpful though, even though we need time to pass because we have other things to do. Um, you can't catch fish after, what is it, 9 a.m. So it is better to do it inside in case you get unlucky and you're not able to uh, catch a fish in that time. Okay, speed reading time. Uh, 
almost done with the dishes. I have to keep working. Oh, what should I do? You're standing behind me as a surprise. I broke the dish that was so important to Vesta. A modify with glasses nearly... Oh, <laughs> I'm tired. I'll take a break. Celia, I'm home. Hey, welcome. You're both a bit pale. What happened? Vesta, I... I'm going to tell the truth. I got this girl. What happened? You're acting kind of strange. If something happened, tell me. <laughs> when you scared her half jokingly, she dropped one of my plates. Okay, thank you for telling me the truth. Don't worry about it. Vesta, I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry because uh, he explained it. Honestly, I would have gotten mad if the explanation had been left to you. That's okay. Don't you two worry about it anymore. Well, I'm going to do a bit more work. Bye. Don't do that to Celia. <laughs> it's almost cute. But we're gonna gift her because I didn't do that today. Blue heart. Whoopsie. What are we doing today? Whoopsie, my finger's not working. We're gonna build another bird shed. That one's cute. <laughs> Gonna buy some more seeds. Oh, I'm sitting so awkward. This is why my back hurts all the time. And we're gonna upgrade our sickle. Um, our whatchamacallit should be fairly close to being done, I would think. Our green pepper, bell pepper. Got another batch of, I wanted to check on this, not done yet, so one more day of rain should do it. So we're not going to do any more heart events for a little bit. I'm going to do her purple heart event. I think it is on winter two. So we've got some time before that. Not a whole ton of time, but. A bit, whoopsie, I missed the corner. up sleeping through a lot of winter. Hi Miz, thanks for the good luck. It's going okay. I made some mistakes but <laughs> nothing major. Nothing that will cost us the world record, hopefully. Which I should probably save soon, but I don't know. If I have a big crash, it's probably better to just reset than do anything else. I'll save though, because I'm paranoid. It does take so long.
Um, but I mean, it can pretty much freeze whenever it feels like it, <laughs> which is annoying. I have noticed that it happens a lot, like during uh, animations. Like the last freeze that happened while I was having a, whoops, a low stamina animation. I I agree. I do like to think we're pretty, <laughs> a pretty wholesome bunch. And we're very, I think we're a very uh, passionate bunch as well. Okay. Fifteen again. It was more rain today. Very diverse as well. I agree. Um, hold on, where's my sickle at? And then I'm figuring out what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, we're leveling the milker now, so. This is what we're doing. Okay. So we're hiring a fishing team. And then building another bird shed. It's only my fourth one. I feel like this is my fifth one, but maybe not. Buy more seeds. Our bell pepper is probably done. Well, the paradox community is diverse too, but if one doesn't defend paradox, you're gonna hit your that. I don't know what paradox is, but um, I mean, there's definitely people in our community that absolutely hate the new Harvest Moon games, and there are some people who will defend those games uh, anyway, and I, I don't know. We have, there's a lot of variety of opinions. I don't think we ever like uh, condemn anyone for not uh, going with the group, though. Only way it would be a better friend one who can speak English and Japanese <laughs> working on um, well, Endless is, his English has definitely improved a lot. Paradox is, uh, what am I doing? Fishing team. The company makes strategy games, amazing strategy games. Oi, that's not what I want. Fishing. We do have German speakers. We got a couple, I think. Where'd Frog go? Just okay. He's all right. <laughs> no, it's it's just because I feel threatened. I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't lash out. It makes me nervous though. I lay awake at night, <laughs> dreading the day that Frog Voice steals my world records away from me, one by one. It's not my fault he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can I hit the corner? Okay, this is another gifty day. do need another major glitch to be found. I really want to be able to duplicate items. Because it's so fun to play with that, play around with that in uh, the Japanese version of Cute. Because I mean you can duplicate sticks and stones if you wanted to, you can duplicate grass of course. If you wanted, you could just, you know, um, cook like 11 of a cooked item and then you would have as many as you want for gifting. It's been weeks since we found a major glitch. It's true. Listen. Milk underflow was great, but it's old news now. We need something fresh. Something new. <laughs> Glitches runs of this game would be like, I don't know, like five hours. Probably more than that because money would be such an issue. And uh, like a game like this, you almost can't avoid the glitches. <laughs> they happen whether you want them, uh, whether you want them or not. Yeah, quick purchase glitch definitely helped out a ton because yeah, you had no money for the first like three seasons in the old days. And then you had to hope that you could do <laughs> the fishy glitch, because if it didn't work out, your run was just dead two hours in. Okay, we're building a bird shed. Not too bad. I go like hell at your day off. You answer the phone when I call. And oops, I gotta do it again. <laughs> uh, glitchless all channel sprites has kind of been done, and yeah, that itself was like five hours long. Because <laughs> uh, in the initial runs, the first like two runs, which were a race, they just raised cows. They didn't know about the milking glitch back then. I mean... I guess you would have to do it without the milk er glitch as well, which that would be a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what you would do. Build or er, uh, 
You could do crops, uh, whoopsie, or eggs or something. Water cups if needed. Saying that five hours is long, glitches for the five hour run any percent. You mean this run? This run is not gonna be anywhere close to five hours. <laughs> That's a very old time. You would you would have to do something other than the milker. That's that wouldn't be viable. Because it would, it's what, like 15 minutes for one level, a little less than that. And you would have to do that like 99 times. Okay, so um, I'm going to put my stupid horse away so he doesn't, so I don't have to track him down later. Um, I have to do a little bit of safe's coming here because i want winter two to be sunny so that i can do her heart event because it is later in the afternoon so i i think this is the best way to go about it that's a storm that's kind of nice actually that's not good So it kind of looks like Karen, but the... Oh, what am I doing? That's not sun. This is probably going to be rough because we have the storm. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting how to check the weather? <laughs> okay. What would be... What would you consider a hundred percent? Isn't that is that not one on one sprites? Aye. Well, Celia and Karen are friends in this game too. Like Karen comes and hangs out with her. Um, if you connect friends in Mineral Town. Okay, Thomas. What do you want? White grass, I can do that. All shipped items, oh, that would be, yeah. That would be rough. I would probably want to do it on, uh, on, uh, Japanese. I wouldn't do it in English. Okay, that's our item now, what are we doing? We're gonna go gift our girls still. And then we're back to um, leveling the milker. And that's pretty much all we're going to do today. All fish, all mines, all buildings. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> the I like most of the songs. I don't like the summer song, but that's pretty much it. Let me go over here, because I gotta buy stuff. Oh my gosh, they're arguing in German. <laughs> Oh my, not another one! <laughs> Hi, teddy bear. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't read any of this. 
all German nouns are capitalized, which is pretty nuts. Yeah. Uh, I think what my sister took German in high school. She taught me that back in the day. It's a pain. Online, I can imagine that it would be annoying to have to do. Yeah, I think it, in English we're very fortunate to not have uh, as much gender problems as other languages do. <laughs> yeah, you know, Spanish is the same way. We have feminine and masculine nouns and... <laughs> All that. Let's go over here, get ready for Thomas so we don't miss him. What did he want? He wanted a white grass. Ugh, this is gonna be a while. <laughs> we know quick. Worst thing is, German doesn't even have any neutral pronouns. So, how do you refer to like a group of people who are like mixed men and women? You just use the masculine uh, version, I assume? Yeah, that's that's what I would think, exaggerated. That's the way it is in Spanish as well. Oh, really? That's interesting. Hmm. And I'm glad that, like, uh, English doesn't have, like, formal pronouns either, <laughs> like other languages do. Whoops, I'm not paying attention. Oh, but you don't use that for a single person. <laughs> uh, it's it's funny because we ha in a uh, in Spanish we have a a formal, uh, a formal you, but if you use it with people who are like young or your friends or whatever, it's almost offensive to refer to them <laughs> so formally. <laughs> oh, whoops. What time was I supposed to do? Oh, it's after. I don't know what time the heart event is actually. Is it after five or after six? It might not be till after six. Formally. Plural you as formal. Languages are weird. <laughs> yeah, English is a weird language too, if you think about it. Uh, like when I was in high school, I took Spanish. I didn't really learn that much, and I'm definitely not fluent. I understand a bit just because my family speaks Spanish. 
and a lot of people around here speak Spanish, so I have to learn. Um, uh, I think I took a semester of Latin as well, which is actually kind of helpful uh, if you want to learn other languages. And it was helpful when I went into like doing a like medical terminology because almost all of our like <laughs> medical definitions are either latin or greek which greek is a pain in the ass especially trying to pluralize greek words Sure, what people would prefer in French? Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> Marna, you're right. That's that's just Thomas in a nutshell. not already clear I'm going to 50 drinks <laughs> and like I said I think in the marriage runs it may be better to uh, to do sheepel instead of like ones like this Just because, I mean, like right here, I'm spending essentially four minutes getting only a single sprite. <laughs> so I don't really think that it's worth it. In a Muffy run, sure, yeah, because she gains affection by doing this. But um, for other girls, probably not the best, best idea. doing it anyway <laughs> I do a lot of things where like I know this is inefficient but I don't feel like rerouting <laughs> and uh, I don't know I feel like if I add Sheep hell into the marriage runs, then Demo is never gonna run this game. German is harder than English. I'm just jealous of countries where like um, teaching young children a second language is uh, like normal. Because <laughs> in my school, yeah, like you didn't start taking foreign languages until high school. And by that point, your brain is already too stupid to figure it out. I learned it at school without my parents ever teaching me. I, that's a strategy uh, where I'm from as well. Kids grow up speaking nothing but Spanish at home and then they kind of just throw them into elementary school and you're young so you can figure it out. <laughs> 
I need to meet Griffin for one of the uh, heart events, so I'm gonna do that now. And then, like, I don't know what time this heart event is at, but... Okay, there it is. I finally caught up with you. You're really fast. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. A little while ago, I was on my way to the spring, and then I saw you. I thought we could go together. That's why I was following you. Do you want to join? We'll go with her. Really, that's great. Green heart. But this is the cutscene I was talking about, by the way. It's pretty here every time I come. Do you know the legend about the harvest goddess living here? I believe that legend. Strange, isn't it? No, I don't think it's strange. It's the first time anyone has said that they believe the two. When I told us all she did was laugh. Can I tell you the real reason why I come here? I've been in rather delicate health since I was young, so I haven't gone outside much. My friends all played outside, but I couldn't go out. I was really sad, but as I've gotten older, I've gradually gotten better. I wanted to see what it was like to work in the outside world, so best to let me come live with her. Sometimes I still have a pain in my chest. I'm not completely healed. That's why I come here to pray. Uh, I hope that my... <laughs> I can't read this fast. My thinking is childish, don't you think? Thanks for listening. It's about time to go home. Well, goodbye. Should probably save for weather, it doesn't matter. Pain in my chest. Don't they have healthcare in this world? Uh, yeah, Dr. Hardy. <laughs> okay, exaggerated. You don't need to flex your socialized healthcare on us Americans. Or, I guess just me, I'm the only American here. Uh, <laughs> do you think you just go to the hospital when you have a medical problem? <laughs> That's expensive. I ended up in the ER a couple months ago and it cost me like $800. <laughs> I'm still paying for it. <laughs> Fluffy blue one's American. There you go. There's two of us. Okay. I don't know, you get used to it, I guess. When you don't know better. I like, I don't know, when I went to the hospital, they didn't really do anything. They gave me some Tylenol and saline, and then when they tried to give me other medication, my IV blew and I didn't feel like dealing with it anymore, so I just told them to send me home. And it still cost me $800. <laughs> Even with insurance, healthcare in this country is ungodly expensive. Yep. Went to the hospital because of scabies and I didn't have to pay a cent. Yep. Um, what am I doing today? I can't imagine <laughs> not having a crazy copay to see a specialist or have, needing extra testing and it not costing an arm and a leg. I have really bad eye issues. I can't imagine the cost of the surgeries I've got. Band-aid, a thousand dollars. I didn't ask for an eye device bill. It's uh, that's another thing, right, about American healthcare is it's just <laughs> so much trouble to try to fight anything. Like I was, I was like, I'll just fucking pay it. I don't care. <laughs> and that was. See, the thing was, this happened in December. It was like right at the end of December. It was like the the 27th or something like that, 27th, 28th. Uh, and my new better insurance kicked in on the first of the year. So if I had gotten sick like five days later, I would have paid a lot less. <laughs> but I had very bad insurance at the time, so I ended up paying a lot. That was okay. 
Um, the worrying about having to do this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree. When you go to the hospital or you're having a medical emergency, the last thing on your mind could be, would should be, oh, but this is going to cost me too much money. That should not be your primary concern, but unfortunately it has to be for a lot of people because you can bankrupt yourself with a medical problem. Yeah, hopefully things get better in the future, we'll see. I think there's a lot of people who are very resistant to change and I don't exactly understand why. Um, maybe we'll get there. Okay. I forgot I needed to watch this. We're buying the table. What was that sound? We're buying, I decide to buy medicine. to not call somebody an ambulance yeah I mean <laughs> I think there's a lot of people here who would explicitly say do not call me an ambulance because those are way too expensive yeah I try not to think about it too much <laughs> wondering why people don't uh, care about other people our table as someone who grew up with free health care always box my mind people tell me horror stories of how much they had to pay for basic health care yeah <laughs> Oh my gosh, a hundred dollars for an ambulance. I can't imagine how unfortunate you feel. <laughs> they should be free. Yeah, hey, it is, oops, it's a holiday apparently. Don't have that rain down. Yeah, like I said, I don't understand what the resistance to change is. Obviously, things are very broken. $240. <laughs> yeah, I think if I had to call an ambulance on myself right now, it would be like 3 k at the very least. If deemed unnecessary. <laughs> 45 Jesus Christ <laughs> like my copay in my sports medicine clinic is more than <laughs> that I don't know listen it's me because I I don't like silence right I feel very awkward if I'm just like sitting here in silence and you guys are just sitting there not chatting um <laughs> i felt like very awkward so i feel like i have to be entertaining and my way of entertaining is just bring up a random topic and run with it <laughs> i don't know yeah but this happens in my streams a lot <laughs> Mm. 
No, and it is good. And it's, uh, it's always good to talk to other people and see what their opinions are, see what, um, other people's lives are like as well in other countries. Because I think, I don't know, America likes to think that we're the best country in the whole freaking world. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely not true. Yeah, it's definitely good to get perspective. And different people in different professions as well. Like obviously I'm I'm a healthcare worker, so my opinions about healthcare are going to be a little bit <laughs> different than uh, an American who's not in the who's not working in healthcare and stuff like that. Yeah, the two-party system, definitely not, <laughs> not the best way to go about things, but we're stuck with it for now. I have to uh, remind myself that most people talking have a very American point of view on Reddit and Twitter. I mean, you say that as if the American system doesn't force you to jump through hoops to do the most basic things, too. <laughs> That's just bureaucracy. See, I can get three winter storms without even trying um, on marriage runs, but when I really need them, they're nowhere to be found. We're looking out for a rainy day. If it rains, we can do the blue heart event. Any day, it doesn't matter because it's right at six. So we have <laughs> the rainless summer was pretty brutal. I wish that weather was not such a factor. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's raining tomorrow. Nope. How's the sky doing? Oh my goodness. We're almost there. Canadian we have huge at least from the US probably look at problems. Yeah, I can imagine that happening. Sorry, my neighbor's stomping around again, so if you can hear that I'm sorry. We need to get way better, but the idea of at least we're not that bad is really not a good way to look at things. I, yeah, I definitely agree. You can always find a country that does things worse than you do, but... <laughs> That's not... You can't use that as a crutch... Um, I don't know, to say, to say that you shouldn't improve things. What am I doing? 
I'm hiring a lumber team. There's probably nothing for them to do. Oh, there's actually some stuff. My menuing this run has been just horrific. Whoopsie, I don't have my thing with you, girl. I'm gonna buy our house upgrade. It's sub too high. No. <laughs> I still gotta do a ton of stuff. Uh, and we're at what, 156? I haven't even looked at the clock. Sub three, maybe. Um, okay, we're looking out for rain. Is it spring already? I guess so. Okay, so uh, here's a question for you guys. Explain this to me because I don't understand it. Um, daylight savings. <laughs> I know y'all just did something to your clocks, but what does that mean for me? Because I don't understand. Like, am I am I on Pacific time now, and it's different than Mountain time? I don't know. Yeah, daylight savings is another <laughs> another thing. That's stupid. <laughs> Okay, my state does not observe daylight savings, so I get really confused because some of the year we're like two hours different than East Coast, and um, the rest of the year it's three hours, and yeah, apparently that was a very emotional one. <laughs> I can't even read <laughs> what happened there. Can I get some rain? Oh, it's her birthday again. I don't know anybody who enjoys daylight savings. <laughs> but we lost an hour. So what? Oh, what does that mean? You guys spring forward. So that means uh, Pacific time went to Mount Time, and Mount Time went to Central Time, and then Central Time went to East Coast Time, right? So that means I'm on Pacific Time. I think? Whoopsie! I don't- well, no, I know you don't actually change time zones, but my time zone never changes, so in my, from my perspective, everything around me changes, right? Did I not do it? No, my state does not, um, does not observe daylight savings. <laughs> we have to meet Dr. Hardy. I think it's only two states. It's Arizona and um, I don't know. It's either Hawaii or Alaska, one of the two. Uh, and my state is definitely not progressive. Oh, sorry, I'm just supposed to be reading. When a girl gets prettier, often means there's a boy she likes. Don't keep it a secret. I won't tell anybody. So you just go from Cali to Washington and boom chat. No, you would have to go across <laughs> Washington and California on the same time zone. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. One province doesn't observe. Which province is that? I don't know. Oh, she's mad. 
but she sees me. I'll see you later. She digs me. Saskatchewan, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Frog, behave yourself. Oh, and a territory too. What the hell is a tel territory? When you're coding because of daylight savings? Oh, I can't imagine. And to make an entire new time system. <laughs> that sounds painful. I'm always really paranoid around this time that like my phone is going to mess up and think I'm in the wrong time zone and it will like change the clocks on me and I won't know it and I'll like, you know, wake up an hour late <laughs> because my alarm didn't go off and stuff. <laughs> That's fair for <friend. laughs> Coding in time. A Taratari is a huge part oops of northern Canada. So what, they're not like official states or provinces or whatever? I assume a province is like the equivalent of a state. The Canadian wasteland. <laughs> Yukon, Northwest Territories, and I don't know how to say that. Nunavu. So, I mean, like, do people lo living in... There are slightly different, uh, differently administered, more indigenous power. That's good, I guess. But do people who live in those territories have the same, like... I don't want to say rights, but I mean, when I say rights, I mean like voting rights or whatever. More. Hi, Devin. Welcome. It has been a little while. All the same rights. That's good. We're having nuanced conversations about uh, po politics. No, <laughs> we're talking about daylight savings. Oh my god, an x-ray person. Hide. <laughs> um, unlike US territories. Yeah, that's what I meant when I was asking <laughs> that. Yellow heart, I have the yellow heart event to do at some point. By the way, I customized trainer classes in my Nuzlocke, and all gym leaders apparently got renovated to x ray person. <laughs> That's hilarious. I saw the clip about Redditor Groat, and I was like, what is the context of this? <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> I wish I had been there to watch that. I think I was at work though. Okay, today is a day where... Um, whoops, I need this stuff. Not this weekend, I just got our house been busy fixing up. Oh, that's good. Congratulations. 
Queen Retro as possible. It's a house person now. <laughs> The territories have a combined population of like 100,000 people. Is that a small amount? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, I'm not paying attention to which sprites I'm getting. My flashcards? My city's got more than that. I don't... Me visualizing large numbers? Not... Okay, that's witty. That should be all the ones we got. I can't visualize large numbers uh, in context. Uh, 100k is not a lot. Okay. <laughs> in a country of 35 million and one point three. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Is that sounds like a lot of uh, area with not a lot of population. Why do you need 40 sprites though? Um, I have 40 sprites as a split just because there's a cutscene associated with it. You need 60 sprites to get married though. Timeless. So this is the 40 sprite cutscene. It's just, yeah. Splits are kind of meaningless in this game because you never, you you can do things in so many different orders that it's really irrelevant, but. Yeah, unfortunately rescuing the harvest status is a marriage, one of the marriage requirements, which is why these runs are as long as they are. Is this rush? Who was that? I wasn't looking. Was that Rosh? Somebody tell me, because I looked away. I was reading. <laughs> okay, it was. Somewhat reassuring that you're bad at big numbers, but still in the medical field, because I'm also bad at big numbers, and I want to go to medical school eventually. Eh, I mean... That's... I don't think that has anything to do with, like, intelligence or being bad at math or whatever. It's just conceptualizing large numbers is difficult. I don't think that is anything bad. So, am I supposed to... No. I press B, find our second house upgrade. <laughs> We're also, oh, it says by the blue feather, but she's not high enough. I think you guys are being a little dramatic. <laughs> I actually wrapped <laughs> Oh, is that all? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. My stream went down again. I think. Hello? I'm dropping frames all of a sudden. Oop, it disconnected. Yeah, there it goes. It's 
reconnecting. Um, should be back. I don't know why that keeps happening. It's very frustrating. I don't know how to fix it. That time I actually dropped frames though. I don't usually drop frames. So, yeah, it's fixed now. I don't know, sometimes, um, my OBS just decides it wants to disconnect, and uh, it does so, and I don't know. So we definitely under-gifted this time. Oh wait, maybe not, because I forgot we have the boost coming up. Yeah, I, d I, uh... <laughs> I did all kinds of sneaky things while you guys were gone. <laughs> don't even really know how you would cheat. <laughs> okay, now she's... Yeah, maybe we over-gifted then. Because we still have... Uh, yeah, I over-gifted. I'm stopping. <laughs> uh, it means I, I have to give her a certain number of gifts so that she gets to Red Heart. So that I can propose, but I I already see that I've overshot the number of gifts I needed to give her, and so that's just wasteful. It's just a time waste. Gift overflow and gift underflow. It's a dream. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> we'll see. That's a set amount. Um, I don't know how to really explain it. It's each gift I give gives a certain amount of affection and we want to get her to 60,000 affection um, so that she's so that we can get married. Oh, what happened? I did it, frog! <laughs> I walked all the way around so I could save one frame just to make you happy. <laughs> Hi, Demo. Welcome. You're just in time to see the end of the run, probably. I've got to finish leveling the milker, do all that. I overshot with, with gifting, though, I believe. <laughs> I'm just paranoid about the gifting thing, I think. Because <laughs> I added more days back in. It didn't matter. How... what do I do? Oh, okay. Because she's not orange heart. On orange heart. <laughs> um, and I still have the yellow heart event to do, so that's 3,000. And I still have to do all of my shipping, so that's gonna give her probably another 10k. So yeah, I, I overgifted again. <laughs> Whoopsie! Not as bad as I did the first time I ran this, or the my first offline test route. Okay, come on, horse. Okay, let's get rid of some of this junk. Imagine some farmer moves to your town, and that guy just gives you a boiled egg every day until you let him down. <laughs> uh, love finds a way. I don't know. <laughs> I 
I probably should have kept that. Uh, Maestro. I don't need this stuff. I don't need that. Is that all I had? Oops. Okay. Uh, now we're horse milking. Better see that emote. I know you guys have it. <laughs> I need to buy the blue feather today. <laughs> Thank you guys. That's more like it. <laughs> uh, I love everybody's first. <laughs> First time they see this glitch, it's a universal what the hell are you doing? And it's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, you don't know about horse milk? Nobody told you about milking your horse? Don't you know um, horses are mammals? They produce milk. And you put it in your pockets, you make a mega milk. I think I'm gonna go inside after this. Before I finish that. I'm gonna, I gotta buy the bed. Oops, wrong one. Okay, we're gonna buy our big bed. And we're gonna buy the blue feather. Oh, I'm supposed to buy um, chickens as well. Yeah, I guess let's do that. <laughs> it's very complicated. Yes. We have all kinds of milk in our pocket that we acquired through mysterious means. And we're gonna combine it all together to make a milk that is worth negative 128 milk. And then we're gonna ship that negative milk and the game is gonna think we shipped a billion milk. chickens. Popery is pretty cute here. Was that 10? Probably. Let's back out. I like the character models in this game. All the bachelor bachelorettes look really pretty. All the Mineral Town girls look really good too. Whoops. Alright. <laughs> Harrisman DS and Sprite, yeah. She's pretty alright. She's pretty cute. 
I like when, I don't know, she's all happy and her ponytail does that weird flippy thing. That's funny. <laughs> Nobody cuter than Ryan from Sauce Pond. Okay, listen. Don't mean to alarm you, but you guys are talking about the exact same girl. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna save just for safety. We got all of our milks in there. Everyone's favorite noises. Okay, now you're trying to start a fight with Demo, okay? Behave. <laughs> what is this? I'm petting my chickens, of course. Never seen a girl stroke a chicken before? Can I pick this chicken up, please? <laughs> I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> These are female chickens, okay? They lay eggs. To the bar at four for her heart event. I can um, combine my milks while I'm waiting. Probably won't take all that long. Guess it will get us some equal stand up. For some reason, you can't organize your rucksack if you're laying down. Okay. I'm gonna like split this a bunch too so I can ship those when we're ready. Alright, Moon, you're gonna miss it. Um <laughs> You've got time, right? I'll buy you one to so drink up. Oh nice. Alright, wait here a minute. Uh, here it is. This is it. This is special. Drink up. Thanks. I really needed this. Uh, still working off my hangover from last time when I had 51 drinks. 50 drinks. Is it good? Of course it is. Celia! Good afternoon, Griffin. I brought vegetables. Hey, thanks for doing that. Uh, here are the vegetables. Thank you. I have some things to do, so I need to leave, but please, take your time. Griffin is wingnutting right now. <laughs> I'll leave you two alone, he says. <laughs> it's just the two of us now. Why don't you tell me some interesting stories? I'll tell you about the farm. It's true. Watch this shit. Slice. See how dangerous that is? My life? Full of danger. See that? Turnip seeds. What you know about that? <laughs> Farms take a lot of work. I really admire your hard work. It's about time to go home. It was fun. Tell me more stories soon. You know I will. Uh, 
Oh, Griffin, what's up? You're acting a bit goofy. Did something happen? Oh, nothing, you know. <laughs> you are acting weird. Oh, maybe something good happened. Well, that's great. Well, sorry to hold you up. Please come again. No problem. Yeah. I don't have this day written down, but I think I'm supposed to go and uh, pet my chickens again. Come here, chickens. What is this supposed to mean? <laughs> Halfway to the world record, yeah. Darn, I wish we could have uh, split it in half, but we still got a little ways to go. Because Popperies at the door. Oh. I think I don't, I wasn't supposed to pet my chickens the other day. Because my last sprite cannot be Saturn. So, oh, wait a second. No, it's probably fine. No, wait. Uh, I'm confused. Anyway. <laughs> What's there, an ad? I'm sorry. I don't run ads, but if you leave and come back, you get an ad. <laughs> Just subscribe. That's how you get around <laughs> watching ads, <laughs> pre-roll ads. All right, I'm all confused. I confused myself because I didn't follow my route because I didn't write down what to do on a uh, <laughs> summer fit. Who I'm unlocking. No, now I'm confused. <laughs> so I got those. Eggs? I'm so confused right now. Well, I have too much time to waste, so I I think I can pet the chickens. I'm so... 
I confuse myself so much. Because I can, I can ship eggs tomorrow after I get Saturn. And then those sprites are... Are... Not channel sprites. So I'll still get the goddess. Because my issue is my, my 60th sprite cannot be a channel sprite. Because I won't trigger the goddess. I am affectionately, um, I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. Aggressively petting, okay? It's not the same as slapping. Oh yeah, I didn't finish routing. That's probably why my notes are all weird. Okay. So this is fine. So I'm gonna do the chicken festival at 10. Um, I wonder if I can eat enough red grass in the time it takes before the festival for me to get my fatigue up. I need one though. I'll see. <laughs> I should probably just be using a tool that would probably be faster. I don't think I can get up there high enough. I'll just have to actually do the festival. Oops, too early. How do you do that, the chicken pet? You, there's an accessory for that. You buy the touch gloves from the poultry farm or Yodel Ranch. Um, and then you can use the touch screen to pet or brush your animals and that results in several sprites. And they also raise their affection faster by doing that that way. So we gotta go do the real festival. We gotta go to the morning. And then, yeah, but how so fast? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm confused. Well, I'm only trying to get to, to blue heart. That's all you need for it to count towards the sprites. You can keep going and pet them longer and you can get, you know, like a red heart and that'll give you more, um, whoops, that's more affection with the animal I guess you could say but you don't have to for the sprite so I just pet a little bit until I get the blue heart and then I back out does that make sense I don't know <laughs> oh damn it I crashed again <laughs> Just 
She's not red heart yet, so we gotta keep gifting. back. I don't know why. I'm getting so frustrated with that <laughs> thing. And I guess, I don't know, I guess my mental math is uh, not that great. Or she decayed more than I thought she did. Because she's not a red heart. She should be with just a few gifts, but... I'm sorry if it means you have to watch an ad again every time. I might need to refresh my... That's a storm. If my chickens die, I'm gonna be pissed. There she is. Okay, let's go to your place, she says. I didn't think you would just give it to me out of the blue, so I was surprised. My health has been poor for a long time, so I didn't think I would get married. But since meeting you, that feeling is fading. Every time we meet, I get an excited feeling. I think you're the best medicine there is for me. My answer, of course it's yes. I'm going to tell Vesta, won't you come with me? Congratulations. Thank you, Vesta. What's this about a wedding? I won't allow it. Marlin, you asshole. Why would you say such a thing? This is something to be celebrated. Uh, you will make this child miserable if you oppose this. If you're so against it, then get out of here. Hey, if you make Celia cry, I'll never forgive you. Celia, if something happens, you come home right away. Nothing will happen. Don't worry. Well, that's good. When is the ceremony? We talked about it and we're going to have it in about a week. I see. You'll live happily. I'm happy. You better get to work and earn a good living. Ugh. So I guess I didn't need to stop gifting when I decided that I was gifting too much. That guy deserves a spelling mistake. Was there one? I didn't even see. <laughs> Oh, she said Martin, I see. Or they said Martin. My bad. <sighs> ah, I forgot to split. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh. Not too bad. Is that faster than Celia? I mean, faster than, uh... Muffy? Isn't Muffy 240? I don't know. <laughs> it is my honor to preside over this wedding. And now I will ask the bride. Do you promise to love him as long as you shall live? Faster than... Yes, I do. That's all that matters, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. Now I will ask the groom, do you promise to love Celia as long as you shall live? I'm completely happy. So cute. I now pronounce you married. Yay! Faster than Muffy, 240, 46, which means Muffy can probably come down. Ta-da! Congratulations! Let me tell the wedding bells. Give us the option to say no. I told you it wasn't going to be a five hour run. <laughs> yeah, Nami... Um, Nami is slower because she doesn't have a boost, I would think. 
Um, Muffy, her heart events are kind of late in the day, so I think that's what pushes her up a little bit higher. Celia can probably be quite a bit faster if I optimized. Known boost, yes. <laughs> That's not bad. I think I could probably come down to like 230-ish. We will find it. I hope we will. It would be so much uh, more convenient if we knew. And if they were easy, which they probably won't end up being, but we can hope. Starting today, we're husband and wife. Let's change what we call each other. I'm Celia. Thanks, that's really affectionate name. Uh, how about you, G? Um, what should we name ourselves? Time to delete the save. I pretty much just write over every save with my loving wife. Ret... Retoro... I don't know. <laughs> I understand. Well, tomorrow we'll begin a new life. <laughs> so I ha I'm sorry, I had to make it masculine, my bad. Shouldn't have done that. Cow festival. <laughs> Good morning, I had a dream about you last night with <laughs> Well, what else is there to do? Hmm, that's probably it for me. I don't know. I'm tired. I it probably is mask, and I just want to be on my name for I just wanted to know at the end. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. Let's see. 